Hey Stampers, it's the Pampered Stamper. It's Jackie Bolcher from Chatham, Ontario. And I'm excited to be creating cards with you this morning. This class, this video is especially for the Littles and Me class. So I know a lot of you picked up kits on my porch this week and last week, and now we are ready to get going. So you have this stamp set in your kit, and you have two little ink spots like this. So some of them might have been used already, so then you can just open them. But if they were brand new, you have to take the sticker off the sides, and then you can open them up. And when you're not using them, you should store them upside down so that all the ink goes to the top of the ink, ink pad. Our big ink pads, they do that naturally. So when you open a big ink pad up, you see, the ink pad was upside down when it's closed. So that's how you should store ink. The ink pad should be upside down. But our Stampin' Up! pads do that all on their own. Okay, and I have a plan today. I see that it's a rainy day and you guys have been inside for a long time. So today I'm going to make special bags available on my porch with an ink pad, with some stamps, with some paper, and I'm giving them away. Okay, they're going to be free. But what I ask from you is that you take a picture of whatever you make with that stuff in the goodie bag. Take a picture and have your mom and dad tag me in it so that other people know that they can get stamping stuff from the Pampered Stamper. So in your kit, you also had a whole package of 20 note cards and envelopes. So the note card, if you look at it, you probably can't see it in the video, but there's a line in the middle of the card, and that's where you fold it, okay? So we're going to get started. So with your stamp set, this one, you take the little skinny piece of plastic just off and put it in a safe place. Put it in the box that it came with. We're going to take the boots, peel it off, lay it on the table, and you lay it on the table. Hi, Adrian. You lay your stamp set on the table with the ridges down, okay? And you want the smooth side up. And then the smooth side is going to go on a block, okay? And now you're ready to stamp. So we're going to take our card. So we have a white card, nothing on it. We're going to take our gray ink pad and we're going to go tap, tap, tap all over our boots. Okay? Then we're going to turn it around, kind of decide where they're going to go. And give it a nice one, two, three, four, five press. Hi, Rachel. And there's our boots. Okay? Now we're going to take and make the boots pretty. So we're going to take this stamp. Now, if you don't have anything with which to clean your stamps, I have a chamois. But you can use a baby wipe or you can just rinse it off with a cloth and water. I'm going to wipe off my stamps. I'm going to put them away for a minute. They really should go back on the plastic sheet, but that's okay. I forgot to turn my phone on Do Not Disturb, so I really hope it doesn't go off. Hi, friend. I'm going to make these boots red. I have a pair of red rubber boots and I love them. There we go. Tap, tap, tap. You can also use a marker to color on your stamps to make them a different color. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. Look how pretty those boots are. We're going to wipe off the stamp and then we're going to peel it off, put them back on the sheet. And there's a stamp set of grass in there with little bitty flowers. Here it is. And we're going to put that on the block and we're going to ink that up in granny apple green. Don't we have fun colors for our stamp sets? What are you guys doing this morning? Did you have breakfast already? Are you still in your pajamas? I'm in my pajamas. And I'll even let you see that later on. These are my cozy pajamas. I bought them in Alaska. Look how cute that is. Now, if you want, you can take a pencil crayon and we can color, let's see, I'm looking for a purple one, but I don't see my purple. That's okay. We're going to just use this one. And you can just color your flowers a little bit, like so. But it, they look fine if they're just left green, too. You can get as fancy as you want, and you can do whatever you want. It's up to you, because it's your card. Now we're going to take the little bunny rabbit. Hi, Ruby. That's nice. Still in jammies. Hi, Pat. Hi, Louise. So here we have the little bunny. And we're going to stamp them in gray. Now, I've used my gray ink pad a lot, and I think it might be getting a little bit dry. So here the bunny, he's just looking at things. He's looking at the world. Now, I have a special little tool. You can color your rabbit, but I have what's called a blender pen. 
And I'm just going to take that ink and pull it in a little bit. And now he's just softly colored. You can pick some more up from the ink pad. See, doesn't he look cute? I love rabbits. Anybody who has a pet right now, the pets are very happy that their owners are all home. And then here's a little saying, and it says, I believe in you. And that's really important that we let our people that we love know how we feel about them. You know, it's really important, especially now that we're stuck at home. I'm going to use this. I could stamp it right on the card. Let's do that because that's what you guys have. Oops, I got ink on my finger. Look, at, I got ink on my finger. Not good. Thanks, Kathy. I'm just going to stamp that right on there. How cute is that? See? Done. So then you can take this. You can put it in your envelope. I moved my envelopes. Just a minute. Here. And we can make our envelopes pretty too. So we can put our boots on the envelope. Or we could put the bunny on the envelope. Let's have a look. I think I'm going to put the bunny. And that way they right away know that this is not a special. I mean not a boring card. This is happy mail. Okay, as soon as they see that rabbit on your envelope and on the back, you could do another one and you could do something else. But I'm, I've got the rabbit theme going, so the bunny's going to go on the back, too. How cute is that? And then what I do with my cards before I send them, I just tuck them into the envelope like this. And that way I know that I still have to write in the inside. And if you want, you can put the name of who you want to send it to right away. Okay. So... I am going to send this one to my grandson. So then I will go like this. This is how you write an address. You go like this. And then you write the, the street, the street name, and then the city name. So it's um, like that. And then the city, and then the province, and then the postal code. Okay? And then in the top corner, you write who it's from. And you write your street name and your city name and your province and your postal code. Okay, so what I would like you to do, I would like for you to make your card or an envelope and send a picture of whatever you're doing when you're making it. And then you can get a free card kit for me. Okay, that's going to happen on the porch. I will put a notice out as soon as I have them ready. I don't know how fast I can do it. So this is going, let's see what happens with our second card. So now we're going to take the grass. Oh, I almost stamped on my card. This is another one I have. This is not good, people. You guys thought, Jackie, what are you doing? Okay, we have a nice naked card here. I'm going to give it a little fold. And we're going to start. I know inky fingers are pretty normal, guys, and, and the ink won't come off. You can wash your hands, but that your inky fingers will not get clean till you wash your hair. That's what takes the ink off. Isn't that crazy? I'm going to have a sip of coffee for a minute. Okay, so now we're going to take the grass, and I'm inking it up, and I'm going one, and then stamping again. And look what happens when I stamp twice. I get a lighter color. I'm going to zoom in a little bit for you guys. There, how's that? That's better. So ink up, and then I'm going to stamp again and I get a lighter version. How nice is that? And then here, I can go up a little bit higher if I want. Really cute. So that is my grass going all the way across. And then, I don't know, if you guys bought the first kit, then you will have a thing of clouds, but I can't find my other stamp set. So I'm going to color some clouds or sponge, yes. So. What I can do for you guys, too, is I can include a sponge in your kit, and you can cut the sponge up. Now, I was hoping for a lighter blue, so I'm going to run to my desk and get a different color blue. All right. I've got it. I'm coming back. All right. This is the color blue that we want, okay? And we're just going to sponge some blue clouds. 
So you just go like that with the sponge, tap, tap, tap. We're going to fold our, cloud, our card, and we're gonna, just going to go like that. There we go. See? And then if you want to make your sky darker, you can just sponge on your edge, on the top. See? Sponge is an amazing thing. So here we have our clouds. And then I was going to say let love grow, but I can't find it. But you can also write, okay? You can write whatever you want to say. Now I'm taking my little bunny again, and we're going to stamp him on a scrap of white. And then we're going to cut him out. Okay? Here he goes. Take your scissors. You can put a whole family of bunnies in the grass if you like. There we go. And when you're cutting, if you turn the paper while you cut, that makes it a lot easier. It gives you smoother cuts. And you don't have to go right on the line. You can give it a little bit of a, a shadow if you want. You just don't want to cut any parts off. But if that happens, that's okay. You can just stamp another one. That's why I like stamps so much. They're better than stickers. Okay, now I thought, yes, I have these little guys. They're dimensionals. I'm just going to put one on here. And then he's going to get popped out of the grass. And I'm going to cheat a little bit. Look how cute that is. So here, you could say, hi, Grandma, or... Hi, Grandpa, or I miss you, teacher. You can just write whatever you want in the top. I stamped, look, I stamped Let Love Grow, but you can take a marker and write whatever you want, okay? Or you can just write, I love you. So that's what's really nice about these cards. So I'm going to leave this one blank, and I'm going to write something or stamp something later, depending on who I'm going to send it to. Okay, so that's card number two. Isn't that great? Yeah. All right, now the third card that I made is this one. So this stamp is also in the kit. And when I first saw it, I wasn't quite sure what to do with it. So let's peel it off. And it's a front door with some steps. And it goes like that because the steps are here. This would be upside down, even though that's kind of the way you want to put it. All right, we're going to clean off my grass with my chamois so we're just going to give that a nice rub peel it off and when you're peeling it off just kind of slowly to pull it off okay you want to be gentle with your stamps and then lay this one on the table put it like so all right now we're going to ink it up with gray i got a little bit of green at the bottom but that's okay because that's where our grass is going and now I'm going to put this near the top. And a one, two, three, four, five squeeze. Hi, Anne-Marie. You know, it's a little bit light, but that's okay. Now we're going to take our grass. There. I have more blocks coming in, so if you don't have any blocks at home, you'll be able to get them from me this week. So here we go, across the bottom. We're gonna do the same thing that we did on the other card. And it's nice to stamp a few times so that you get different shades of grass. See? How cute is that? And then if you want, there's an other stamp in here that is little bitty flowers. Now, we'll take the rabbit off. And we're going to add some, maybe some yellow flowers to make it a gentle card. Okay. So here we go. And this is going to be a flowering meadow. How pretty is that? See, I'm sure that you kids love to pick dandelions for your mom and dad. Well, this is a lawn full of dandelions and you get to go crazy picking them out. Now, I am going to use a pencil to color the bricks because I used a stamp, but you don't have stamps always, so then you have to go coloring. So we're gonna scribble some walls. For our house. See? There we go. And then we're going to color our door. I want my door to be bright red. I love a cheerful door. See? 
And then, and you can make your door whatever color you want. That's the nice thing. And you have crayons and pencil crayons at home, so you can do that. See? Just like that. We're going to give the, the lamp a little bit of yellow in here. We need it to be cheerful. The lantern is also going with a little bit of yellow light. We're going to add some green to the trees. These people have a really nice front door. They've got lots of fun things. We've got a pot of plants there. Wow. My front porch look nice. I have some rocking chairs on my front porch. There we go. We're going to do this. See, and I like to turn it sideways. Like so. That's looking good. Now, I don't know if I have a gray one. This is... There we go. And then we're going to make some light come through the windows, too, by adding a little bit of yellow. I hope you guys can see me okay. There we go. And then here in the front door, too, we'll add a little bit of light coming through. See? Right away it looks cheerful, doesn't it? Now I'm going to take my blender pen, and I'm just going to blend these up so it doesn't look like I scribbled so much. See, this fixes everything. I also ordered more. In a week or so, I will have blender pens, and maybe I'll make a new kit for you guys with blender pens. And then when you want to clean your blender pen, you just swipe it like that. And now we're going to do our door. But you see how it changes my scribbly lines into smoothness? Yeah, makes it a lot prettier. I call a blender pen a naked marker because it picks up any color that you want. And if you guys are commenting right now, I'm sorry, I can't see it because I'm coloring. Okay, and then here you can say whatever you want. I already stamped something in a circle, see, like that. But it looks, oh, I've red fingers, but it looks kind of blah like this. So we're going to add a little bit of blue for a sky in the air around the top. The sponge is always a really nice thing. And if you make a mistake and you get a piece of red ink where you don't want it to be, then you can put this on there. Well, let's have a look. You know what? You can do this and we'll take some red ink because that's what I look. There, see? You can do that. Pop that up like that. Or I have a stamp set here and I'm going to say, I'm so very thankful for you. Okay, we'll take this off the block, and we'll stamp it in red since I have a red smudge going there. Okay. And then I have another present for you, if you will help me. There we go. I'm so very thankful for you. Look at that. And isn't that funny? I got another piece of red on here from somewhere. See that? Maybe we'll add a butterfly or something there. But isn't that pretty? I thought so too. Now I want to show you one more thing. We have this special paper, and it's called Shimmery White Cardstock. Now, it doesn't look like anything special, but if you look at this cardstock in person, it has shimmer to it. It's like it's got little sparkles right in the paper. And what's nice about that paper is that when you water, you can watercolor on it. So let's see what happens. I'm going to take my boot stamp, and we'll stamp it in gray. Why not? I'm giving it a bit of a hard push because my ink pad's a little bit dry. I'm going to stamp them right here on the bottom. And then I have a special pen called an Aqua Painter. And it has a brush tip and then it has a little thing that fills with water. So it's like having a paintbrush and some um, water without spilling. So I'm going to take a clear block and I'm putting the ink right on it. Okay, and then I'm taking my aqua painter and I'm making a little petal and then I'm going to color my boots. See? Isn't that pretty? And then I can add more color if I want. 
to make it darker. And it just gives a really nice look to your boots. Here we go. And you can do them in whatever color you want. I have a few of these aqua painters left at home, so you can let me know if you want one, and I will order in more. And you can order online for me as well, and have the stuff shipped straight to your door, because coloring is really, really good for you. It makes you think, it makes you stop thinking if you're worried about stuff. And kids are usually pretty good, but sometimes the grown-ups worry a little bit more than they should. And it's fun to color with your mom and dad. When's the last time they've colored with you or painted with you? Crafting together is a lot of fun, especially when you take what you've made and send it to someone else and make them happy. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And now we want to make a puddle for our boots, right? Because what do you wear rain boots for? In the rain. So I'm having a blueberry bushel ink pad. Hello, Julie from North Dakota. And kids from Canada, North Dakota is one of the states in the United States. And it's, I think, if I know my geography right, North Dakota is south of our prairies. So, yeah. Now I'm going to do this. And then look at how pretty that is. Nice, eh? This is a huge puddle. I went, oh, there we go. I have red rain boots too. And I like to go dancing in the rain. So I made some cards with this. I'll show you. Here you go. Look at that. I cut out my rain boots and I put them in the puddle. So what I'm going to do for you is if you take a picture of yourself with the cards that you've made, and you tag me in it, you tag the Pampered Stamper so that it will show up and that people will know what I do, then you can pick up a little package on my front porch and it's going to have four pieces of this special shimmery paper so you can try the watercoloring too, okay? So share this video and take pictures of yourself making cards with these pretty boot stamps and then you can get a free pack of paper so you can do this special technique as well. And then hopefully this afternoon, I will have some kits on the porch that you can pick up for free. And um, all I ask is that you take a picture of yourself creating. So share this video so that other people will know about the free card kit on my porch. Okay? I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a super day. And I hope to come up with another idea for the next kids class. I think it's going to involve um, the fishy stamp set. And um, yeah, it's called Make a Splash. So stay tuned for more details. It will be in two weeks. Okay, bye.